Hi there everybody. On today's video I have uh, this uh, Volvo V70. This is a 2002 and um, I have here the uh, instrument cluster which um, has failed um, and it keeps giving me these two fault codes here. One that says SRS lamp faulty function and the message comes up on this uh, on the cluster as needing uh, urgent attention and also I have this other fault code that comes up with it it's just orange general warning lamp faulty circuit now uh, what I wanted to show everyone is what actually the problem um, is relating to this fault um, although it could be related to your SRS um, when a some of these codes come together it's more related to the cluster now um, I just wanted to show here what the actual problem is um, the cluster is easy enough to remove from uh, from the dash it's only four uh, Torx screws that are holding it in there one two three and four and also there is a cover there's a that cover there which is just plugged in and you can it pulls out basically and then uh, this little dust cover here you need to unclip it from it it's got three little clips and then uh, it's only one cable connecting to the cluster now I, I've dismantled my cluster taken it apart it's a number of uh, screws to remove this Phillips screws uh, once you get that off you can also pull this out just taking care and uh, as is uh, quite a delicate part take looking after these uh, little uh, connectors here um, and now I'm gonna plug it in and I'm gonna try to see if I can show you all what the fault is usually with this so if I plug it in there At the moment, uh, nothing is working apart from the engine light and the red light there that is relating to the um, seat belt. Now, if I press this chip here, you will see the dashboard coming on. As you can see when I press <laughs> okay so um, as we can see if I push or bend this a little bit the dash comes on the SRS um, service urgent message comes on all the lights come on and again if I bend it a little bit it stops working if I press it it works so um, what many people say is that the connectors on this chip um, become slightly loose and then they don't make contact which is probably why um, when I press around the area everything starts working um, and the thing is once you get it working you can clear these codes and they will disappear but um, you need to have the good iron uh, using good skills using the um, soldering iron Um, 
to solder around this chip and this one and many of, of the other connectors. Um, so I'm gonna try to do that and see if I can get this working properly and I will then um, show you how the codes can be cleared. Um, um, after having a go at uh, soldering some bits here, um, I discovered that um, in my um, cluster, um, these two here, those two little uh, microchips were um, uh, were, were a little bit loose, so um, I realized that after soldering them, I did. I had a go at, at the chip, at, at the other chip, and I had a go at many, many other parts. Um, but I also had a go at these two, and it looks like they were the ones that were causing the problems. Um, I've now got a full set of lights. And I have the SRS message there, but um, <clears throat> when I had the original fault, <clears throat> I couldn't get rid of the SRS message. Um, I'm gonna have a go at uh, getting rid of that now um, with the OBD, and hopefully uh, it will it will work. Now the uh, computer is checking all the fault codes. Um, and it will pro probably identify the SRS and um, the one I was getting is the orange lamp. Or orange warning lamp faulty. Um, but I couldn't delete them, so I'm hoping that I can I can delete them now. Uh, before the dash was kind of um, coming on and off, eventually went off, and every time it does, it went off. The um, warning lamps came back on. Right, so here I'm gonna check. So reading the uh, diagnostics codes there. Um, I have a number of codes here due to the fact that the um, the dash was disconnected. So I'm gonna erase all of those. Okay, so uh, no DTC is left in there, and we're gonna check the driver information module. That's the module that um, gives us that that message. So um, let's see what we've got in there. So we got the SRS lamp faulty circuit, red general warning lamp, and orange. Now um, I'm going to try to erase those, and hopefully they will erase. So no DTCs. So that's good news.
Okay, now um, that hasn't come back, but the uh, message is still there. Now um, we need to clear the. Um, We need to clear all the codes. I've got a malfunction uh, on the siren as well because that that is definitely broken. So once I've cleared um, most of the faults, um, I'm going to access the SRS uh, menu here, which uh, probably will have some uh, fault codes. So I have um, SRS lamp fault function, SRS indicator lamp signal missing and something else. <clears throat> now I'm going to try to clear those and hopefully that message there will also clear. Um, and uh, we'll check um, trouble codes again. So no fault codes there, and yes, that message is gone. So I have one message there, which is uh, the driver's door is open. Um, Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping that this is the end of this uh, problem here. I will uh, put this back together and test it again. If I um, have any problems, I will put it on the video. Uh, so for now, I uh, hope this video helps and thanks for watching.